Hey guys, it's Ellie here and this is part 4 of the Lightroom series and today I'm going to be covering how to use the clone and heal tools within Lightroom. So these tools come in handy when you want to remove something quickly from your photos. I even use it a lot for some light retouching as well. Now for the longest time I didn't understand the difference between the clone and the heal tool and they are very similar but basically the main difference is that the clone stamp tool is a straight copy of pixels whereas the heal tool actually takes the texture of what you're cloning and adjusts the color and the tone of it to better blend in with the destination. Now let me just show you what I mean here. Okay so this right here is the clone tool. Now if I click on it, I'll see a little panel that pops up with the clone and heal options. Okay, so I'm going to click on the clone tool first and I'm going to go ahead and click on the area that I'd like to retouch a bit and then it's going to give me its recommendation of what it thinks will best fit there. However, I find that this is rarely accurate, so to move it, just click on it and drag it. I'm going to select this area here and now it's basically copying and pasting that on her nose. Now you can see it's pretty much a straight copy of pixels and it's not really taking into account the differences in color or in tone. Alright so now I'm going to go ahead and select the heel tool with the exact same settings and just to compare here I'm going to select the same area to copy and paste. So ginormous difference here, ginormous. I don't know why I'm using that word, but I like it. Ginormous. Ginormous difference here as it took the tone and the color of the destination into account to try and uh, better blend it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do some quick retouching here to give you a better idea of how I would use this. And I'm using the heal tool, so it's recommending this area, but I'm just going to go ahead and drag it over here. I would usually take my time with this and it's probably going to look a bit sloppy since I'm doing this so quickly here, but you get the idea of how this can be used to really easily clone out or retouch something. Okay, so here's the before and after. And now I have this photo here which I'm going to go ahead and reset and I want to remove these lights, they're pretty distracting. so. I'm going to do this using the heal tool and I'm going to select this area here and play around with my opacity and my feather so that the light doesn't seep through and show at all anymore. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Let me just go ahead and try it with the clone tool to compare here. Alright, so that does not look as good. Big difference with the color here. So I'm just going to go ahead and reset this and use my heal tool to remove both. And there we go. Now there are cases when I do prefer the clone tool, primarily when I don't want as much blending to happen. So let's say on this photo that I want to go ahead and add more leaves on the ground. So when I use the heal tool, this actually does a pretty decent job, but since it's sampling the color and the texture of the target area and attempting to blend the results, it doesn't look quite as natural. However, when I use the clone tool, it's just copying pixels, so it works a bit better in this case. So all in all, it just depends on what you're doing, but I'd go ahead and try both out and see what works better for that specific photo. And I think that covers it. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it and have a ginormously great day, guys. Take care. Bye.